Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. This is the new apartment teens haul. I've done some shopping the past couple of days and the past few months. So this is just a total accumulation of things that I purchased for the new place. So please don't think that I bought all this stuff in one sitting. That definitely did not happen. I did the same exact thing when I moved into my first apartment. I was living with my sister and brother-in-law and I was just slowly buying all the things that I knew I would need. So I did the same thing for this move. So I would highly recommend doing that. Just create a list of things that you'll need, essentials that you'll need for your bathroom, your kitchen areas, the living areas, just things that you know that you will need. So let's go ahead and get into it y'all because we have a lot of stuff I have a lot of stuff to show y'all because, um, yeah, like I said, you girls been spending some coins the past uh, couple days particularly. So let me go over some of the essentials um, that I wanted to implement into the new space. So I shopped at Target, Amazon, Wayfair. Um, where else did I shop? at home and home goods so as i show you all the pieces i will tell you guys where i got everything from so before we get into different areas in the home let's go ahead and just talk about cleaning supplies i did purchase this cleaning caddy from amazon i think it's super super dope it holds all my cleaning stuff i will eventually have some type of like under the kitchen sink organization for my cleaning but temporarily and when I want to lug my products around the apartment I thought that this caddy was such a good buy and it has a handle here in the middle so you can hold it like that so I just have some of my cleaning essentials in here that I purchased some things that were like honorable mentions that I want to show you guys that I love when it comes to cleaning are the scrub daddies y'all love these sponges i have the caraway home non-stick pans and i love that these do not scratch your pans but they scrub them if you guys know what i'm trying to say it gives you some like um abrasion i guess that's the right word i don't know uh to clean your non-stick pans so i love these for the kitchen you can also use them cleaning the home as well and then i did pick up these essential oils i y'all know i stay on pinterest <laughs> And um, I do like the cleaning section on Pinterest as well. And I've seen a lot of videos where people talk about using essential oils to like drop in your toilet paper rolls and to put on cotton pads to put inside your um, trash cans in the bathroom and just over your all throughout your home. So I picked up this set of essential oils for that purpose and that's why it's in my cleaning caddy. And of course, when I get a diffuser, I can use the oils for that purpose as well. I did pick up this blind duster. I thought this was a really cool tool. It does come with several of these little attachments that you can swap out and it is machine washable. Um, and I did also pick up a stack of microfiber towels for cleaning around the apartment. The next purchase that I made is this Bissell Little Green Pro Heat Shampooer. I picked this up because I noticed that my bedroom headboard was not as clean as I thought it was. And before I put it together, I wanted to give it like a good shampooing and scrubbing before I put my bed together. So I picked this up from Target. It was on sale for $120, I believe. And I did have to purchase the cleaner. And then I also picked up a new broom and dust pan. I wanted one that I could just like put on the floor and sweep into. So I did get this from Amazon. And I like that it has the teeth here in the front. So you can clean your brush as well to get any hair and things off of the brush. And it does click together. So you can kind of keep it together here. Ooh, Lord keep it together here at the top with this little lock mechanism. I've shown you guys this before, the O Cedar mop. I did purchase one at my old apartment, but I wanted, a, I just wanted a fresh mop. I don't know, my sister's like, Hannah, like you could use the same mop and I could have because the mop heads are machine washable, but I just wanted a fresh mop, broom and vacuum for the new space. Because in my mind, the way I think I'm like, I don't want the same dirt particles that were at that place 
in this place. I don't know y'all, I'm weird. <laughs> so I did pick up another old cedar mop. I love this mop. Um, don't have anything bad to say about it. Um, and then I did also pick up, this is like a random pickup from Amazon, but I picked up these window locks. They're for both doors and windows. I picked this up because my master bedroom is right off of my front door. So the window that's in my master bedroom, basically if you're standing at my front door and you look to the side, you can see through my window if it's open. So I got this just for safety measures. I will eventually have a security system and all of that. But in addition to that, I wanted to get these window door locks just for like that extra measure of security, knowing that no one can open the window from the outside. So I did pick that up. They were only $10 on Amazon. I feel like that's a great purchase, especially if you live like on the first floor in an apartment and you don't open your windows or if you have a sliding door or something like that and you just want that extra measure of security, definitely check that out. I will have everything linked down in the description box for you guys. Another random pickup is this dog bed that I got for Charlie. Y'all, I got this from Home Goods. I think this is so freaking cute. The perfect size for him and I love the color of it. They had this same bed in green, I'm sorry, in gray and they also had it in cream but I like this mixture of the like black and neutral because I feel like it'll go well with my decor that I eventually plan to put in the space. So I did, oh, sorry buddy. <laughs> it rolled right on top of him. So I did pick that up for him and then I also picked up this matte off of Amazon. Y'all can see it has a little doggy paw here at the bottom. I thought that was so cute. It comes in a lot of different colors. They had like a really pretty pastel mint color, pastel purple. So they had a lot of um, different colors, but this is just to help protect your floors when your pets are eating. So you can put this right under their food bowls and it'll just help uh, for easier cleanup after they're eating. Cause y'all know these dogs be spitting and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get into the kitchen team. Y'all know the kitchen is the favorite part of the home for me. I love being in the kitchen. So y'all know I had to pick up a couple things, a couple things I needed for the kitchen. So I did get rid of most of my knives. Um, they weren't good quality. They were worn down by the time um, I went to pack everything up. So I did get a new set of knives. These are ceramic coated knives. I think these are great for like everyday use. So, and I love that they're color coded. I won't be using it for the organizational purpose of them being color coded. I just like the colors. <laughs> so I did pick this up. I got this from either Amazon or Wayfair. It'll be linked down in the description box. And then I have been, y'all, I have had my eyes on this particular product on Amazon for like a year and a half because I was thinking about organizing my old pantry. So I was looking at stuff on Amazon for that, but then I realized that I was gonna move, so I never bought them. But y'all, as soon as I got the money and got my hands on it, I bought them. Y'all, y'all have probably seen these all across like TikTok and Pinterest and stuff like that. These are like Lazy Susans that you can put in your pantry, but I love the ribbed detailing. Y'all, that is so pretty to me. I think that will look so nice in anyone's pantry. You can put your oils, your vinaigrettes, your dressings, whatever you wanna put in here, but I just love, I love the design of it. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it, but these will be going in my pantry. I got some oven mitts, pot holders from KitchenAid. I got these off of Wayfair. I got a new set of flatware. Got these from Home Goods. Just has some texture detailing on the stem part of it. And then I also ordered these spice jars from Amazon. Comes in a pack of 24. Um, it does come with labels, but I don't, I don't, I knew that I didn't like the labels before I bought the product and I found labels that I do like. So I'll probably order another set of 24 because y'all know I have a lot of spices in my kitchen. Um, and then I will order the labels that I do like. 
and we'll put that together eventually. But I did wanna go ahead and buy these so I can start transferring my spices to the jars and getting everything organized in the kitchen. Um, and those are from Amazon. And then I picked up these three oil vinegar bottles. I got these from Home Goods. I thought these were perfect. I love that it has the little cap here at the top. Um, the ones that I had in my old apartment did not have a cap. And I always felt some type of way about that. I'm like, what if like something got inside and I don't know. So I love that these have a little, just a little cap that you can flip on. I like the color of these. It's a like a traditional olive green color. And these will go on top of my stove shelf. So pick those up. I picked up some basic kitchen utensils. I got this whisk for your non-stick pots. So it's like a plastic whisk, really good quality from Amazon. I picked up these two items plastic tongs from the OXO brand from Target, as well as this Target brand non-stick spoon. And then I picked up this set of like non-stick cookware and bakeware from Amazon. Came as a set, so I will have that link down below as well. I also picked up some basic kitchen towels, so some hand towels. These actually came from Publix. I thought these were so freaking cute from Publix in the little like kitchen wear area. Y'all know how they have the grocery store. The little kitchen wear area and found these at Publix, so, so cute. So I picked that up and then I picked up these hand towels from at home for $3 a piece. I thought that was a pretty good deal. These pans came from Wayfair, set of four for, are these cookie sheets? Yeah, cookie sheets cookie sheets right y'all I'm having a brain fart <laughs> y'all y'all know cookie sheets y'all know but I like this set because each size so it comes in four sizes each size has its own rack that goes inside the pan which I love I thought this is really good because it's organized you have all different sizes you can put your parchment paper beneath to keep it clean and you can put your rack on top um, and I think this is just a great buy if you do meal prepping um, and I love the different sizes especially if you live alone so like something like this would be good to put like two pieces of chicken on for yourself and I just I thought it was just a really really good buy um, it was forty dollars for all four and it's really good quality it has a nice tall lip on the side to keep all of your food in the pan. So I would highly recommend that you guys purchase that. I got that from a Wayfair. I did also pick up these corkscrew trivets or pot holders, whatever you want to call them. So if I'm sitting like a hot pot on the counter or the table, I picked that up for that purpose. And I did go to Target to pick up some glassware. The only thing that I did not pick up are my dishes. I couldn't find dishes, like a set of dishes that I liked. So I'm still on the hunt. Like I found some, but I'll have to order them online. I wasn't able to find any in store, but I did pick up this set of, excuse me, glassware from Target. Uh, it's a set of 12 for $35, but they're really, really nice quality. It's from the Target Threshold brand, and their things are really, really nice quality. So it comes in the short glass and then the tall glass in this version. So yeah, pick these up for my everyday drinkware. And the last kitchen piece that I picked up from Home Goods are these really cute espresso cups. Um, if you guys have been following me for a minute, y'all know I have the white larger coffee cups that comes in this same style, but white and black. And it also comes with the rack. And I thought that this would be really cute when I set up my coffee station area to have the white coffee cups and the black espresso cups in my coffee station area. So I just could not pass them up. It was $8 for the set of four. So that is it for the kitchen, you guys. As y'all can see, I did also pick up this vacuum. So I did pick this up along with um, a couple other, oh, I'm not finishing the kitchen. <laughs> I did pick up a couple other like random buys. I bought this 
five tier pant hanger from my closet. Um, it matches the other velvet hangers that I have in there. And then I also picked up these brown wooden hangers and these hangers are for the coat closet. So I did get that. And then the last actual kitchen item is this fold out dish rack from the OXO brand. I really like this brand. Like they're really, really good quality. And when I do end up putting my pantry together, organizing it, I am gonna get the push and pop OXO containers because they're just really, really good quality. I had my eye on this on Amazon, I saw it on Amazon and Target, but they just happened to have it in store at Target when I went this morning, so I did pick it up. I like it because you can stack it away under the sink, so once everything is dry, you can actually put it away under your sink so it's not taking up any counter space or any of your sink space. I lied, before we get <laughs> to the bathroom, I forgot to show you guys that I did buy a new Keurig. This one is a little bit bigger and it does have the milk frother. So I did pick this up as well. So that is the last kitchen piece. And then the last space that I bought things for is the bath. So I did pick up a clear shower curtain liner, very basic from Target. And then I did pick up this white shower curtain as well. It's really cute, it does have some texture. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on camera. So I got those two items from Target and I picked up these double-sided hooks from Amazon. I like it because if you guys can see, let me, there's hair in my mouth. <laughs> if you guys can see, I really like these because instead of having to loop both the liner and the curtain on one hook, you can hook the liner on one hook and the curtain on the other. So if you need to take your shower curtain off to wash it, it's very simple to do so without having to like, mess up your shower curtain liner. So, and these are really, really nice quality as well. So again, I got those from Amazon. And then from Home Goods, I purchased my bathroom accessory set, like my soap dispensers, toothbrush holder, and all that. It does have a little bit of texture on it, if y'all can see. And I got the same exact set for the master bedroom. I mean, I'm sorry, the master bathroom and the guest bathroom. So it's just a really simple set. And I like the quality of the pump. So really cute. And then I also picked up these two, two of the same trays. I thought these were pretty. Just to add some pizzazz. I don't know if this one will actually fit in the half bathroom. Um, so we'll see about that. We'll see, but I thought together it looked really nice. And I also did pick up this plunger and toilet brush set from Mr. Sika. This is another really good brand. I found this on Amazon. So it does come with the plunger and the toilet brush cleaner and you just sit it in your bathroom this way. So if guests need to get it together in the bathroom, they have everything they need in the bathroom, but it doesn't look ugly, you know what I mean? And then the last few things that I picked up from Target are some bath towels. So I did pick up these really cute bath towels, like for guests, these were only $5 a piece. I love the black and white design. So I picked those up along with the matching hand towels and washcloths. And then for myself, I just picked up an oversized bath sheet in white. And then I picked up the corresponding white washcloths. If I like, the feel of that, I will buy a few more. I did bring a couple of my own towels with me, so I'm not like in an urgent need for towels, um, but I did pick up that one. And then the last thing that I got are two of these bath mats from my bathroom. Um, I didn't wanna do too much in the half bathroom yet as far as like buying bath mats and stuff because like I told you guys in the vlog, I'm not trying to um, do too much too soon. Like, you know, let I have my essentials. So after this shop, that's it. You know, I can unpack, put everything away, clean really good, and then assess what else I need after that. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a little chatty. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the haul. 
let me know uh, what you guys think about it down in the comments. Was this useful or informative for you guys? Did you guys see anything that you would pick up? Let me know down below and I will see you guys in the next vlog.